So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Google Meet to teach your class remotely. Your first step is to go download the app. Here's what the app icon looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of the basics of Google Meet. So the first thing is up here at the top left, right here is your hamburger menu. You can use that for options like login in and out. Right here is how you create a new meeting. Right here is if you're joining somebody's meeting, this is where you can enter the meeting code. This is important for students if they're joining your meeting. Right here is how you can turn your, mute your volume. So if you wanna not, if you don't want people to be able to hear you, you can mute it right there by pressing that. And then if you wanna turn your camera off, you can turn your camera off right there, right? All right, so Sarah, I'm gonna create a new meeting and you join it real quick. So I'm gonna go new meeting. And Sarah's about to join it. I'm going to give her the code. And so the code for a Google Meet meeting is right here. It is DJZ-OWJR-JZJ. Now notice I'm taking screenshots as I go so I can write on my screen. So right here... You see, you see I'm, I'm writing, writing on my, on my screen, screen, and then when, and I'm, when done, I'm done, I just, I just say, say done, done and delete, delete the screenshot. screenshot. But it allowed me, as I was teaching this remotely, to do that. So, Sarah, so Sarah turn, turn off your camera. camera. So, so over here, you can tap, tap the, camera the camera right there, right there turn, turn it on. And then, and over, then over here, you can tap, tap to turn your mic on. So the important thing is when you do a classroom with kids, you're probably going to want to have them turn their camera and their mic off unless they're wanting to speak. And so then they would go turn their individual camera and mic on if they want to speak. Well, how do you know if they want to speak? Well, up here at the top right, let me show you. When you're in the meeting, up here at the top right is this little, looks like a dialogue box, right? So if I tap that, it allows me to message my entire class or whoever's in my meeting. So I can say, if you want to speak, please send a message here. So then that's basically like them raising their hand. Now they could do an emoji. I guess they could. you could find like a hands up emoji. I don't know. Some emoji that's a hands up. Yeah, here's one. Sarah found one right there. And they could send it like that saying, I'd like to speak. And then they can unmute their mic and open their camera up. So it's, it's a good idea for everyone in the meeting to mute their mic unless they want to speak. That way, if there's any background noise like a TV or anything like that, everybody's not hearing it, right? Now, the next thing I want to show you, this, that's just how they can get in the meeting, okay? The next thing I want to show you is how you as a teacher can share your screen. Okay, so two things I want to show you are first, up here at the top left, this is my meeting ID. And when I'm in a meeting, it will always be at the top left. So if you need to add people later to the meeting, that's where you can find it. Also at the top right over here are these little bubbles. And those bubbles give you some other options. Let me show you what options they give you. So the first option they give you are the ability to switch your camera on your iPad to the rear facing instead of the front facing. But the more important option they give you is the ability to present your screen. So you can show your screen so that you can use apps like Explain Everything to teach students. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to share your screen. Um, so if you have a classroom full of students and you want to share your screen, at the top right, there's these little bubbles. If you tap them, you get a bunch of options there. And one of those options is present screen. So if I tap present screen, and then I choose this right here where it says start broadcast. Now it's going to broadcast my screen. Now I want you to see at the top, it says everything on your screen, including notifications, will be recorded. Enable Do Not Disturb to prevent unexpected notifications. So you just want to turn on Do Not Disturb. That way students aren't seeing your notifications. Okay. So now I'm going to scroll up. And Sarah, are you seeing my screen right now? And I'm going to open Explain Everything. And so now, Sarah, are you seeing Explain Everything on your iPad? Good. So now if I come over here as the teacher to the right and I start teaching and I say, okay, 2 plus 2 equals 4, are you seeing all that on your screen and hearing me? Uh -huh. Right. So 
anything that now that shows up on my iPad will show up on all the students' devices as well. And, and I can see it up here at the top right, the little red, tells me that I'm broadcasting my screen. Now I can go back into Google Meet and say stop presenting, okay? And now I've stopped presenting. I'm not presenting anymore, am I? And so I'm going to turn my camera back on. And so now, Sarah, can you see me? Yes. Good. And then, right, remember, you can, you can mute your mic here or turn your mic on. And you can also turn your camera off and turn it on right here. And so that's how you'll present your screen so that students can see what you're teaching them.